guys, welcome back to another video, my name is Krypton. In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can use the infinite toxic growth glitch along with Ring of Fire in order to level up your weapons and to get weapon camos easy on both the machine and fire BC. I noticed a lot of you were asking how to level up weapons using these glitches in other videos. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to set it up on fire BC and the machine easy using the colonel's office and the top penthouse. Before we get into that, I've noticed that 96% of you guys who tune into the videos are not subscribed. So if you do enjoy the content on the channel, and also enjoy this video i'd appreciate it if you could drop a like also drop a comment if you have any issues once again as you see in the other videos we try to help out a lot in the comment section if anybody's having trouble so let's get straight into it all right guys so for this i would recommend having toxic growth at least tier three this means that it will slow down the zombies more within the toxic growth itself and kill them before they can actually reach you making this glitch a lot easier starting off in firebase c you want to turn on the power you want to at least have two decoys as you can see i have three this makes it a lot easier you want to train a full round of zombies at least 25 zombies in the control room you want to train them exactly like i do up the stairs around to the left and then back over to the colonel's office once you get into the colonel's office you want to train the zombies exactly like i do run around to the lower side of the table and place your first decoy in front of the locker then you want to wrap back around and throw your second one behind that if you do have a third decoy by picking it up off the floor you want to once again wait until that other one disappears and throw your third one this will ensure that the zombies are bunched up into the tight grip that you need in order to place down the toxic growth once you place down your toxic growth do not move away from the zombies stay close which will mean that they will stay within the toxic growth while trying to hit you. If done correctly, the toxic growth will glitch out and it will stay there for the rest of the game. At this point, you can actually switch over to Ring of Fire. Since the toxic growth is glitched out, it will not disappear from beyond this point. So I'd highly recommend using Ring of Fire when the bosses spawn and the barricade to your left. Throughout my time of using this method, I've noticed that it takes about 30 to 33 rounds to get 1,250 critical kills. So if you do not want to deal with order, you can actually switch off and then restart the game and do the exact same thing. Depending on how powerful your weapon is will depend if you can kill Orda easy. The only issue you will have from this spot is the bosses spawning on the barricade to the left. Sometimes three will spawn at one time. What you want to do for this is let them wrap around the table at the front side. Then you want to run around, jump out the window, head through this single door right here, turn around and start shooting the zombies as they come down the stairs once again. This will maximize your critical kills. Once the zombies get close, you want to hop over this barricade wrap around through the double doors and back up the set of stairs back to your spot you can do this every time you get overwhelmed by the bosses spawning on the barricade but yeah that is pretty much firebase c let's move on to d machine all right so you want to set this map up exactly like you did on firebase z you want to turn on the power get at least two decoys grab whatever perks you will need you actually do not need any perks to set this up but jug will come in handy i'd recommend training the zombies out by the broken plane you want to then train them in to the top of penthouse keeping them in a tight bunch on the way up once up at the top of penthouse where you can buy your perks leave the door at the back closed do not open that barricade as you'll see as i pause the game you want to place your toxic growth on top of this wooden plant right here on the floor you want to once again throw down your decoy keeping them in a tight bunch hold your second and then once the first disappears throw your second on the floor then you want to place your toxic growth in the middle of the horde staying close ensuring that they will not move from that area once they all day off you will see that this is the exact place you want to have your toxic growth from here you can just stand behind the toxic growth and no zombie will be able to hit you as you can see i was on a pretty high round they would actually die off before they can get to me this is why you want to ensure you have at least tier three on your toxic growth otherwise the zombies will be able to hit you more as they will not die off from here once again you can switch over to your ring of fire the only time that you will actually need to pop it is when the boss spawns this map is a little bit easier as you will not have to deal with order so you can go to whatever round you want to get the 2500 critical kills and that's you pretty much set up on the machine all right so there's a few issues that may happen that i want to point out on firebase z a boss may get stuck on the barricade down by the objective to your left he will be outside the map all you have to do is kill him go out to the objective area and you will see him standing against the wall on your running map the lowest round that you can set this up on is round eight but i would recommend waiting to 10 or 12 as the zombies will be a little bit quicker so it'll be easier to bunch them up placing down your decoys and the toxic growth can be a little bit tricky so you want to perfect it I will leave a video linked down in the description which will help you perfect placing down the toxic growth. Another thing I want to mention is this will more than likely be patched in the next update coming in about 5 days time. So you will want to do this as soon as possible. If you would like a more in-depth video once toxic growth is patched, I use the exact same method just changing up how to use toxic growth within the maps. 
So let me know down in the comment section if you would like to see that video after it is patched. I really appreciate all the support in the channel lately. Once again, if you're having any issues, drop a comment. And there's also people that update the comment section, letting people know that the glitch still works. I will be pinning these comments to the top of the comment section, so it will let you know if the glitch is still working. So if you did go and enjoy the video, please drop a like. Subscribe if you are new and enjoy the content on the channel. We're on the road to 2,000 subscribers. If you want to stay up to date with all my videos, and live streams and also other game updates you can join my discord down in the description i have now updated that link also check out the org i'm a part of katana gaming all their links will be down in the description as well but yeah stay motivated never give up have an awesome day i'll see you on the next one Boo.